What is up YouTube, Nas Rocks here and in this video I'll be showing you how to downgrade your ATV4 to TVOS 10.2.2 and then I'll show you how to jailbreak it. So before we get started, make sure you have a USB-C cable so you can connect your device to your computer. Let's head on over to the computer and you'll need to download the TVOS 10.2.2 IPSW and the Green Goblin IPA. I'll have both those links down below in the description. Once you have everything and you're ready to go, open up iTunes and if you're on a Mac, hold down Option. If you're using a PC, hold down Shift, tap Restore Apple TV, search for your TVOS 10.2.2 IPSW, select it and tap Restore one more time. iTunes will extract and verify the IPSW. Once it's done, the downgrading process will begin. I'll speed through this part of the video so you guys don't have to wait. Now some people have reported having pairing issues with the remote after the downgrade so if this happens to you, you can use the original Apple TV remote to get through the setup. Once your Apple TV is set up, head back to your computer, open up Impactor and drag and drop the Green Goblin IPA. Sign in with a valid Apple ID and give it a couple of minutes to install. I'll skip over this part of the video so you guys don't have to wait. And even though you get an error in Impactor at the end, the app is still installed. Back on the Apple TV, let's go into the Green Goblin application, tap jailbreak. Now it took me 5 to 6 tries to actually jailbreak my ATV4, so all you have to do is keep trying. The other button will force reinstall bootstrap just in case you're having issues with your device. So don't freak out if your Apple TV screen turns pink, all you have to do is unplug the HDMI and plug it back in. Now you know it's going to work once you see Pawning Kernel followed by Remount and the rest. Now all you have to do is wait a couple of seconds for it to finish. Now that it's done, hit the respring button and wait for your device to respring. Once it's back on, scroll down to the bottom and there's the Needle TV application. Let's open it up. So here are all the packages you can install in the features tab. Swipe over to install to check out a list of everything installed on your ATV. Swipe over again to sources and you can even add sources. Now this is a semi untethered jailbreak so if you power off your device you'll need to run the jailbreak again but if you put it to sleep you won't have to worry about it. The last thing you guys need to do before I let you go, go into the settings, scroll down to system, then software update and make sure you turn off the automatic updates. So hopefully you guys enjoy your jailbroken ATV4. If you need some help, leave me a comment and don't forget to smash that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. This is Nas Rocks. Peace.